All right, we're going to figure out the inverse Laplace of this right here. And as you can see on the bottom, we have s squared plus 2s plus 10. We cannot factor that, right? And the way that we are going to handle this is to do completing the square. So let me put this down right here. We have s squared plus 2 times s. And let me just leave a space plus something, right? And then here we have the plus 10 after that. Well, how do I figure out what this is? Uh, you have to just look at whatever this is, which is 2, right? And you can just do 1 half times this 2, which is in black. <laughs> and then you go ahead and square that. So 1 half times 2 is 1 squared, which is 1, right? So you go ahead and add 1 to it, but be sure on the same line, you minus 1 immediately, right? So as you can see, this is the same as saying we will have s squared plus 2s plus 1 and then plus 9. And I know many of you guys can just see it right away, if you would like, but I'm not sure you guys will work, right? Otherwise, I'll get this tag on the videos. That's not good. Anyway, this right here is going to be s plus 1 squared, and then this is plus 9, which is the same as 3 squared, if you would like. So this is the bottom. All right, now, this is going to be the inverse Laplace transform of on the top, which is s plus 1, over the denominator, which is that. We will have s plus 1 square plus 3 square. This is so nice. Why? Because s plus 1 and s plus 1 are the same, right? And with that being said, you know, when you have s and s on the top and on the bottom, this is going to be a cosine situation, right? s something square and then plus something square. Okay, we have the cosine situation, but you see we have plus 1 plus 1. You have to look at the plus 1 as minus negative 1. Okay, s minus negative 1, s minus negative 1. And you know, you will have to multiply by e to the negative 1, t. Alright? Because this expression has been translated in the s world, right? So we must multiply by e to the negative t in the t world. And then, this is going to be cosine of 3t. And do not need to divide any number, because this is just what we need for the cosine. For the sine, you have to make sure on the top you have the correct number, right? But this is it. e to the negative t times cosine of 3t, that's it. 